Are you looking for a way to add some pop to your favorite EDC knife? We've got you covered. Today on How to Knife, we're going to teach you how to dye your knife skills at home. Here's what you need. A pot to make your dye bath in. Measuring cups. Rit Dye More Dye. Knife lube. Simple green. The knife you'll be dyeing. A little bit of wire. Tools to take your knife apart. Gloves. And finally, a stove. For this project, we're going to be using the Kaiser Mini Domen. You will notice that this knife has a very light and neutral scale color. When dyeing scales, you need to make sure your dye color is darker than your original scale color. For example, you cannot dye a black scale yellow. If your original scale color is something other than white, your final color may be a mixture of your base and dye colors. So the first step in this project is to disassemble your knife and clean your scales. Before you begin cleaning, now's a good time to put on your gloves. We're going to be using mild solvent like Simple Green. You want to make sure to clean your scales really well so there's no finger oils, dirt, or grime on them. All right, now that we have our knife apart and our scales cleaned, we're going to prepare our dye bath. It's here that I have to stress, you wear gloves and you be really careful where the dye goes. It will stain anything it touches. We're in the shop, so we're just using a camp stove. You can do this in your kitchen just as easily. We're using a sapphire blue Rit Dye More synthetic dye with a ratio of eight parts water to one part dye. To prepare the dye bath, fill your pot with enough water to submerge your scales. Bring the water to a light boil and then add the dye. Keep your dye bath at a light boil for the remainder of the process. So once you put your dye in your water, you do want to stir it. So just find something that doesn't matter to you and stir it up. I've got this pencil laying around. And now take a piece of wire, make a hook in it, and run it through one of the holes in your scales. So now we're ready to make some color. Your end color will depend heavily on your scale material, dye color, and desired end look. We recommend that you check your scales early and often in the dye bath. We were going for a darker blue color, and we only had to leave our scales in for 30 seconds. Those turned out great. Let's get them rinsed off. Now that you have your desired color, make sure to thoroughly rinse all the excess dye off the scales. Now we're going to reassemble the knife, add a little bit of lube, and enjoy our handiwork. I'm really happy with how that turned out. Now you may be wondering about other handle materials. Don't worry, we've got you covered. Make sure to keep the dye bath at a light boil. The dye needs to be 200 degrees Fahrenheit in order to adhere properly. We can't stress enough how important it is to keep the dye off any surface you don't want stained. Be very careful in your preparation. Finally, if your scales don't turn out the way you want them to, you can always dye them to black. Make sure to use RIT Dye More Synthetic. There are a few different kinds of RIT dye, but this one works the best, especially if you're dyeing materials like polymer and G10. Dyeing only works on certain materials. This will not work on scales made of aluminum, titanium, or stainless steel. And remember, the color of your scales will vary based on the concentration of your dye bath and how long you soak them. And it really is that easy to dye your knife scales at home. Let us know down in the comments what you guys did and how it turned out, and thanks for stopping by the shop. If you like knives, consider hitting subscribe to Blade HQ right over here. We got a sweet how to knife playlist with all the knife mods you can dream of. And as always, check out bladehq.com for all your knife needs.